Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So uh, we're doing something a little bit different today. Basically, we're starting up our own mowing slash landscaping business. This is not on the roleplay server. This is just on a separate separate map. Um, so I don't know what to call this. So like our business here. So just let me know in the comments what I should call it. But basically, we've been staying in our camper here. We got a whole yard set up. Uh, I'm planning to move a mobile home in here at some point. Uh, there, I've heard there's a nice one around that I'll have to go look at at some point. But uh, basically, I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of what we got here. So we got our nice quant set over here, and we got just a little landscaping trailer, basically. Nothing too much. A little ride-on lawnmower. I guess it's stand-on. It's called stand-on. And over here in our nice red shop, big huge shop over here, we've got the F450. A nice little trailer over here. This is one with a flatbed. Uh, just a nice work truck. Uh, we got the 4055 with a batwing mower as well. And the cat skid steer just with a regular bucket. But that's basically going to be our landscaping setup slash mowing setup for the start of it. Um, there's but there's one more thing we need to pick up. Uh, that is a landscaping trailer. So we're going to go jump in our Chevy here. Chevy 2500. And we're going to head down to the store. Now basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be cleaning up our own yard. Because it needs some cleaning up. And uh, just basically getting everything set up to run here. And there's also like there's not a lot of mowing com companies around here. So there's like lots of work around and we live right by a sawmill that kind of sucks but oh well but we're just gonna head down to the shop here it's it's not too far it's, it's still a good ways though and we're gonna grab our landscaping trailer all right so we're just pulling up here to the shop and that is our new landscaping trailer that thing is really nice I was looking at it and I was like yeah that's got to be a definite purchase for us there unfold a tailgate back on up to it there we go it's it's a little it's a little small, but it'll, it'll work for what we need. Basically hauling logs around or firewood or basically whatever we need to do. That actually reminds me of another thing I should look at. A firewood splitter. That might actually be a very nice buy for us. If I see one, I will definitely have to buy it. But yeah, we're just going to head back to the house and get started on mowing our own lawn. Alright, we're just pulling up to the yard here. So you guys did not know what map this is. This is Lone Oak. You can get it on the in-game mod hub. Uh, very nice map. The guy that converted it did a very good job. It's all season ready. It's a very, very good map. Now we're just going to back this up here. Uh, I'm debating where. I think just right next to this red shed. It's going to be about perfect. Alright, there we go. I'm going to say that's good. Oh, did my tailgate unfold? There we go. And we're just gonna pull this back up to our camper over here. Okay, so this grass is like stupid high. So we need to get in here with probably the stand on and mow all this. I'm thinking we'll mow all this with the bat wing. It, it's it's not too bad, so we can probably end up doing that. And yeah, so we're just gonna go over here to the shop and get our stand on mower out. I believe it should be filled up with fuel. I ended up servicing it the other day, so. It should be all good. Now I haven't ran this thing much because I just got it, so I'm I'm not a hundred percent a pro yet. I'm gonna be though, hopefully, hopefully by the end of the year. But also with the uh, with the addition of like we've got our skid steer, we've got dump trailers, we've got all that stuff. Like we can we can definitely start. Once winter comes, we can definitely start pushing snow and whatever. Just as like another side business. And even landscaping, we can do a lot of that too. Now this map does not have, unfortunately, like landscape, like landscaping materials. Unfortunately, which really sucks. But uh, maybe that'll be added in one of these days and we can do more with that. But right now it's just kind of base game. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Because it would be so sick to be able to have building materials in here. But man, a weed whacker for going in the trees here and stuff would be awesome. But I, I think there was one in FS17, but not one in FS19, which is kind of unfortunate. But oh well. This thing is extremely jerky, so it's really hard to uh, steer it. But you get used to it eventually. 
but what would be sick is like a pull behind mower behind a quad that has its like own engine uh they exist in real life but i've never seen one in farm sim which would be absolutely dope if there was one i ended up getting this from a guy named buck he said it was too it was like the tuned version of a lawnmower so if you could have a lawnmower that was tuned this would be it it is fast almost too fast to control but not not that fast we seem to be able to control it here pretty well just gonna get around the camper here uh, we're not gonna be able to get too close we're gonna have to move it eventually uh, once we decide to get a mobile home in uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure when that's gonna be happening but I hope it's gonna happen soon but we got to take care of our own yard before we take care of other people's but I know there's lots of customers around here already I've been already been getting lots of calls to come and do lawns so that's definitely gonna be a very profitable bit of business for us but yeah, once we decide to get a mobile home in here, uh, we're going to have to come in here, lay down a bunch of gravel. And I'm not 100% sure if this is all smoothed out. It looks pretty smooth, but we may have to come in with a dozer in the end. Uh, I guess we'll have to just see what happens there. I'm also wondering if maybe I should get like a bush hog for the skid steer or whatever you want to call it. Oh man, I'm hitting the sides of the pool here. It's just kind of glitching out here. But I'm wondering if I should get uh, like a, a bush hog, but it's for a skid steer. That would be actually really sick if there was one. I'll just have to look and see if there's one for sale around here. But as you guys can see, we have a lot of money. I'm going to take that back down to like a realistic number. Uh, of course, you guys know, got to build the place. So it, just for realistic purposes, I'm going to be taking it down quite a lot. All right, I'm going to call that good for that. Uh, I'm wondering where else we got to mow here. I think back along here. There's a little strip that we got to mow uh, Yeah, I think that's it and the rest we can kind of just use our bat wing for all right There we go. That is it for that. I don't think there's anything else uh, I'll just go around the other side of the shed here and Just see if there's anything else here that we need to cut Nope, there is nothing else there. Oh man. Ouch tree branches in the face does not feel very good but we're just going to pull our mower back in here. I'll just put it alongside the trailer here. And there we go. That is one, another job done. Let's shut up our doors here and grab our batwing mower and tractor out here. Uh, are we going to be able to fit it through here? Uh, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. This is an older tractor, but it's still in very mint condition. We should be able to pull it through here. Don't scrape my truck. There we go, got her out. But if you guys are enjoying the vids, if you're not subscribed, I know like 83% of you guys aren't subscribed, so if you guys are enjoying the vids, do subscribe. Remember, giveaway and Q&A at 10K subs. And also be sure to hit that like button. It helps out the video a ton if you guys do that. But I am wondering if I should take the duels off this thing just for uh, doing cuts like this and stuff. I think I will, actually. I might not even have to unhook the uh, unhook the mower here just to do that. I might just be able to pull it right in the shop and do that right now. Man, that sawmill is definitely going to get annoying, but yeah, usually when you're in the yard, it's it's too far to hear. I don't know how I can hear it all the way inside here with the tractor. It seems a bit weird. But the Quonset is the shop with all most of my tools and stuff. So I'm wondering if we can pull it inside there enough. To where we can uh, take off the duels. I guess we'll just have to see. Okay, guys. So I ended up actually having to get a different tractor. Um, the one that we had, unfortunately, had problems, and I couldn't. Like it was, it was glitching out. And uh, if I would have known that, I would have never gotten that tractor. I didn't know that at the time. So I'm um, sorry, guys. I had to get a different one. But this is the 4640, and you got. I know you guys love this tractor. For all you John Deere fans. So we're just going to roll with this. Again, I'm sorry. I did not know that that was a problem with that tractor. But if I can get it fixed, I will. And we will try to get the old one back. But uh, unfortunately, that is not the case. We cannot do that as of now. So we're just going to stick with this tractor. Again, I didn't know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we got a bit of mowing left to do here. And it's right down behind here. Now, this is not our land right here. But around the other side is so we're actually I could probably could have just took the road instead of going all the way down here where this is steep very steep probably not good for the mower 
and I should probably be folding it up too but we're gonna be right there in about two seconds but something I did notice is there is a lot of traffic on this road so you might got to be really careful now I'm just gonna go up here because there's a car coming but this should work hopefully this tractor works this time I was not anticipating that um that was a bit of an accident I should have checked before I know but uh I did not know that that was the case with that tractor so yeah but this batwing seems to work really like exceedingly well uh props to the modder whoever made this dude you did a phenomenal job oh man this is a steep this is very steep I should not be actually on this and I'm actually not gonna go up here where this is just because I don't think it's necessary and it's a little bit dark here so I'm just gonna turn on my lights oh boy that's a little high yeah I don't think I need to be going up that high it's just not worth flipping over my tractor for getting a little bit of the extra grass cut oh and another thing I should probably mention is these vids for the next couple days are pre-recorded I am currently gone on vacation so that's why uh, they're pre-recorded I'm on vacation again yes I know I <laughs> I just can't seem to stop going on vacations but thank you for all the support on the channel recently it means a lot and we've been growing like crazy amounts like crazy crazy and the videos have been getting I know the latest videos as I am here recording this right now uh, are getting crazy amounts of views crazy amounts of likes it's insane guys but that's because you guys are hitting the like button and subscribing as well so if you guys do enjoy the content you see please do hit that like button and subscribe and if you guys have noticed I've been trying to do more for first person um, a lot of people have been requesting it more uh, let me know if you like it or not I mean I don't mind doing first person uh, I know third person is nice for doing some stuff and I kind of have to do it in third person like if you're raking or something kind of got to do that in uh, third person just for me at least that's my personal opinion but uh, that's usually what I do but if it's stuff like this I think I can do first person uh, if you guys enjoy it I don't mind doing it so all right and that should be it I think that's good enough here lift up our mower and fold it up here all right there we go and I'm gonna go down to the end here because last time I went up that was uh, a sharp sharp incline and that's probably not very good if I want to keep my tractor on level ground or at least level oh boy that's I took that I, I should not have took that that was too close probably should throw my hazards on but man the cars here are almost just reckless on this map but if you guys are wondering what map this is uh, this is Lone Oak it's on in-game mod hub if you guys want to get it I'm not 100% sure if it's on consoles yet uh, I know it's on PC for sure I think it's on consoles actually I'm, I'm almost 100% sure it might be but don't quote me on that if it's not don't blame me <laughs> but I'm just gonna pull it in here cuz I don't really feel like backing up honestly am I good I should be good on both sides hope so cuz I don't want to scrape up my nice truck all right there we go I can probably shut off my light so I don't have a dead battery that would suck no, okay I don't know what's going on there honestly uh, I think just some stuff's glitching out there but yeah this is actually I just found this bucket the other day I uh, was on machines modding pack or something their their new skid steer very nice bucket even though it says bobcat but th this still says cat in it so I think it's all good I'm just gonna close that up and close our other doors up here because we want to just leave them closed but yeah guys that's gonna be the end of the episode for today I know it's kind of short but if you guys did enjoy don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one